Welcome to our Coding Corner. Today, we're tackling a common programming challenge that many of you might encounter. Our viewer has a question about counting the frequency of a letter in a string using C programming. The viewer's program is designed to take a string and a letter, then count how many times that letter appears in the string. However, there's a hiccup. The program always returns zero, regardless of the input. Let's dive into the details and see how we can fix this issue. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. Let's start by examining the code you provided. The goal is to count the frequency of a specific letter in a given string. In your main function, you are reading a string and a letter from the user. However, there is a small issue with how you read the letter. To fix this, you should call getChar after reading the string to consume the newline character left in the input buffer. This will ensure that the letter is read correctly. Now, let's look at the occur function. This function iterates through the string and counts how many times the specified letter appears. With these adjustments, your program should now correctly count the occurrences of the letter in the string. Let's summarize the changes. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. First, check your code for debugging. You might find that the variable L isn't holding the letter you expect. The issue is likely due to the new line character left in the buffer from a previous input. To fix this, use scanf with a space before sent c, like this, scan c. This clears the buffer and allows you to read the intended character. Alternatively, you can use getchar between scanf calls to achieve the same effect. This will also consume the unwanted newline character. All these methods work because they remove the newline character from the buffer, allowing sentC to read the correct input. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The issue arises when using scanf with sentC as it captures the newline character from the previous input. To fix this, there are two solutions. Solution one is to add a space before sentC in the scanf function. This ignores any white space characters. Solution 2 involves using fflush in to clear the input buffer, but this method is not recommended due to undefined behavior. Always prefer the first solution over using fflush. Here's a code example demonstrating the correct usage.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The function definition needs improvement for better coding practices. Instead of specifying a fixed size for the string, use a flexible array declaration. Additionally, there's an input buffer issue. It's important to clear the standard input before taking new input. A common solution is to use scanf before a getchar call. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this solution, the user addresses an input buffer issue in C. They recommend using getchar instead of scanf to read a character after reading a string. The user provides a code example that includes a function to count occurrences of a character in a string. The function iterates through the string and increments a counter when a match is found. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers.